Okay guys, today we're going to talk about water heaters and a little trick that I've been using for years to save some energy on electric water heating. This is a typical American electric water heater. It is a, a two element design. Underneath the cover here we have two basic elements. One cover in this case, usually there are two. In this case we have one cover. Inside here we've got a thermostat and a heating element and the same with the bottom. They're underneath these covers of course. This is to protect people from hurting themselves I guess. But anyway, underneath here we have a thermostat and underneath this one we have a thermostat and our heating elements. A power comes in the top, goes through an a overheat safety switch, which opens both sides of the 220 volts. Connected to the overheat safety switch is the thermostat. The thermostat is a single pole, double throw design. Basically, when this unit is functioning, one element or the other element is heating, never both of them. This single pole double throw thermostat will initially send power to the upper element. Once this element is satisfied, when the temperature reaches whatever the set point is, whatever you set it at, it then sends power down to the second element. Where you start to save money is in the second element. If you are a single person in a house or two people in a house. We're just two of us in here. We don't have a big family. And we have this 50 gallon water heater. We don't need 50 gallons. We wash in cold water. We take showers at different times. We simply don't need 50 gallons. So what do we do? We use 25 gallons. We use this part of the water heater. How we do it is pretty simple. You understand the process that this element will heat first and then after this element satisfies and then this element takes over. You can disconnect the lower element or even lower the temperature on the thermostat, one or the other. So what I tell people to do is give it a shot, turn this temperature down, minimum, see how you do. You've got enough hot water, leave it that way. Or even better yet, make sure your power is off of course, disconnect one of the wires to the water heating element on the bottom. That way you can be sure that this thermostat will never activate and you'll just heat up here. It's an alternative, this whole thing is an alternative to buying one of those on-demand units that are very expensive and uh, tend to break down a lot. Some of them aren't very durable. And there are other benefits to this too. One of the benefits that always comes to mind with me is this is my emergency water supply. It's not the only one I have, but it's 50 gallons of pure drinking water that can be used in an emergency. So I kind of like having a hot water heater around. It gives me a little bit of peace of mind. So that's all I use is this portion of it. Okay, now you can go one step further, and uh, I do this, this uh, one step further uh, somewhat often myself. Here is your basic elements that are inside your water heater. This is a fold-over design. It's called a low-density water heater element, and this is a high-density water heater element. This is a very long element. It's very durable, very expensive, and this is typically what you find inside of a, of a water heater, it just goes up and goes back, very cheap. But both of these elements are of the 4,500 watt range. They're both 4,500 watts. For the second stage of saving money, you really can't use these. They're too slow. What we do is move up to the 5,500 watt bugger. This is the one that really produces a lot of heat in a very short time. Why am I showing you this? Because the next part of saving money 
after you've disconnected the lower element. Well, this isn't going to work for everybody either, but you can try it. If your breaker panel is somewhere where you normally walk past it, like in a hallway, in a kitchen, somewhere where you can get to it, where it really isn't inconvenient, after you've disconnected the lower element, turn the water heater on and off only when you need it. What I found is with this 5500 watt element, and I put that in here in the upper section, I can turn on my water heater and in five minutes from just it being cold, in five minutes time, I can get hot enough water to take a shower. I pop out of the shower, I flip the breaker off, and I don't run my water heater again till the next day. So I'm using very little power to heat up my water, but I am using a 5500 watt element. The 4500 watt elements, they just don't cut it. The 4500 watt element, for some reason, these little elements, you can wait 15 minutes for this thing to heat up enough so you can actually use it. And this happens in five minutes. So if your breaker panel is easy to get to, that's an option also. You can dramatically drop your electric usage, reduce your electric usage between the turning the breaker on and off and removing the lower element or disconnecting the wire. Of course, you want to insulate the wire. Uh, that's basically it. So I hope this tip, I know you haven't heard it anywhere else because I've never heard it anywhere else. Hopefully this tip helps you. Hopefully you'll uh, got something out of this. And uh, if it works for you, that's great. If it doesn't work for you, well, we tried. Okay, everybody, take care. See you later.